This is your weather radio station KEC 56, in Dallas, operating on a frequency of 162.400 MHz. Programming originates from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Fort Worth. You are listening to Dallas Weather Radio, and here are noon observations. At Dallas, it was partly cloudy. The temperature was 70 degrees, the dew point was 61 with a relative humidity of 62%. The wind was northeast at 15 miles per hour. The pressure was 29.87 inches and rising. Observations from around the region, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at Fort Worth, 70 at Arlington, 67 at Grapevine, and 66 at Louisville. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 72 at Duncanville. 71 at Hutchins, 70 at Balch Springs, 74 at Killeen, and 72 at Waco. Once again at Dallas, it was partly cloudy. The temperature was 70. The following is your hazardous weather outlook. This hazardous weather outlook is for northern, eastern, and central Texas. Day 1, today and tonight, thunderstorms. There is a high risk of severe weather across eastern north Texas. All modes of severe weather will exist throughout the late evening and into the night, with destructive winds, large destructive hail, and long track tornadoes across the area. The earliest time frame for thunderstorm coverage is expected to begin at around 3 p.m. as an area of low pressure located in Kansas is expected to move to the east at a rapid rate. Flooding, there is a high risk of flash flooding from late this afternoon through the night with a potential of 2 to 3 inches, with isolated areas of 4 to 5 inches in eastern North Texas. Days 2 through 7, Wednesday through Monday, thunderstorms. There is a potential for severe thunderstorms to linger into the overnight hours Wednesday morning, before exiting the coverage area entirely in the early morning hours. Get graphics and more details at weather.gov slash Fort Worth and follow our weather forecast office on Facebook and on Twitter. From the Fort Worth forecast office, here is the forecast for Dallas and the surrounding area. Today, shower. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch No. 15, effective until 2 a.m. Central Standard Time. This watch includes the following counties, in Texas, Grayson, Collin, Hutt, Denton, Rockwall, Rains, Delta, Hopkins, Lamar, Red River, Titus, Franklin, Camp, Morris, Dallas, Kaufman, Van Zandt, Wood, Upshur, Gregg, Smith, Rusk, Harrison, Panola, and Shelby. Remember, a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in or close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions, and should listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, Commercial Radio, or Television Outlets, or Internet Sources for the latest severe weather information. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch No. 15, effective until 2 a.m. Central Standard Time. This watch includes the following counties, in Texas, Grayson, Collin, Hutt, Denton, Rockwall, Rains, Delta, Hopkins, Lamar, Red River, Titus, Franklin. Franklin, Camp, Morris, Dallas, Kaufman, Van Zandt, Wood, Upshur, Greg, Smith, Rusk, Harrison, Panola, and Shelby. Remember, a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in or close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent,
person should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions, and should listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, Commercial Radio, or Television Outlets, or Internet. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Van Zandt County in northeast Texas, southwestern Wood County in northeast Texas, northwestern Smith County in northeast Texas, until 4.32 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.05 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located six miles south-southeast of Grand Saline, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter sized hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding and trees. Locations impacted include, Manila and Golden. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Van Zandt County in northeast Texas, southwestern Wood County in northeast Texas, northwestern Smith County. Colin, Hutt, Denton, Rockwall, Rains, Delta, Hopkins, Lamar, Red River, Titus, Franklin, Camp, Morris, Dallas, Kaufman, Van Zandt, Wood, Upshur, Greg, Smith, Rusk, Harrison, Panola, and Shelby. Remember, a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in or close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions, and should listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, Commercial Radio, or Television Outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The National Weather Service in Fort Worth has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Collin County in north-central Texas, northwestern Hunt County in north-central Texas, southwestern Fannin County in north-central Texas, until 4.38 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.8 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located three miles southwest of Blue Ridge, or near Blue Ridge, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter sized hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding and trees. Locations impacted include, Blue Ridge and Leonard. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The National Weather Service in Fort Worth has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Collin County in north-central Texas, northwestern Hunt County in north-central Texas, southwestern Fannin County in north-central Texas, until 4.38 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.8 p.m. Central Standard Atoka, Cole, Choctaw, Pushmataha, McCurtain, Hughes, Pittsburgh, Watima, Leffler, Oakfusji, Okmolji, McIntosh, Haskell, Wagoner, Cherokee, Adair, Muskogee, and Sequoia. Remember, 
A tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in or close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions, and should listen for later The National Weather Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Northern Marshall County in south-central Oklahoma, southeastern Johnston County in south-central Oklahoma, until 4.38 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.14 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 7 miles north of Mudeal, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter sized hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding and trees. Locations impacted include, Tishomingo and Milburn. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The National Weather Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Northern Marshall County in south-central Oklahoma, southeastern Johnston County in south-central Oklahoma, until 4.38 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.14 p.m. Severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Van Zandt County in northeast Texas, southwestern Wood County in northeast Texas, northwestern Smith County in northeast Texas, until 4.32 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.05 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 6 miles south-southeast of Grand Saline, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Hazard. 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter sized hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Wood County in Northeast Texas, until 4.55 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.22 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 2 miles northeast of Mineola, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 70 mile per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs and outbuildings. Locations impacted include, Mineola, Haynesville and Pine Mills. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Wood County in Northeast Texas until 4.55 p.m. Central Standard Time. Wood County in Northeast Texas, Northwestern Smith County in Northeast Texas, until 4.32 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4... The 
National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for Central Wood County in Northeast Texas until 4.58 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.27 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 5 miles northeast of Mineola, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Expected hazards included a tornado and half-dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat rotation. The following impacts are expected, flying debris may be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include, Haynesville and Pine Mills. Take cover now. Move to a storm shelter, safe room, or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for Central Wood County in Northeast Texas until 4.58 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.27 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located. Warning for Northeastern Collin County in North Central Texas, Northwestern Hunt County in North Central Texas, Southwestern Fannin County in North Central Texas, until 4.38 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.8 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 3 miles southwest of Blue Ridge, or near Blue Ridge, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Hazard. 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter sized hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact. The National Weather Service in Fort Worth has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Fannin County in North Central Texas, until 5.3 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.32 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 3 miles southwest of Gober, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 70 mile per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs and outbuildings. Locations impacted include, Dover, Wyndham, and Honey Grove. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. The National Weather Service in Fort Worth has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Fannin County in North Central Texas until 5.3 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.32 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 3 miles southwest of Gober, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 70 mile per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail Southeastern Johnston County in South Central Oklahoma until 4.38 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.14 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 7 miles.
The National Weather Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for eastern Johnston County in south-central Oklahoma, western Atoga County in south-central Oklahoma, southern Cole County in south-central Oklahoma, until 5.4 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.35 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 5 miles northwest of Coleman, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 70 mile per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs and outbuildings. Locations impacted include, Wapanuka and Wilson. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. The National Weather Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Eastern Johnston County in South Central Oklahoma, Western Atoga County in South Central Oklahoma, Southern Cole County in South Central Fannin County in North Central Texas, until 5.3 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.32 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 3 miles southwest of Gober, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Expect The National Weather Service in Fort Worth has issued a tornado warning for Eastern Fannin County in North Central Texas, Western Lamar County in Northeast Texas, until 5.13 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.42 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 3 miles south of Wyndham, or near Wyndham, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Expected hazards included a tornado and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat rotation. The following impacts are expected, flying debris may be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicle will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include, Honey Grove and Petty. Take cover now. Move to a storm shelter, safe room, or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Fort Worth has issued a tornado warning for Eastern Fannin County in North Central Texas, Western Lamar County in Northeast Texas, until 5.13 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.42 p.m. Central Standard Time. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for Central Wood County in Northeast Texas until 4.58 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.27 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was lit. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for Northern Upshur County in Northeast Texas, Southeastern Camp County in Northeast Texas, Southeastern Titus County in Northeast Texas, 
southwestern Morris County in northeast Texas until 5.22 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.52 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 5 miles west-southwest of Pine, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Expected hazards included a tornado and half-dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat rotation. The following impacts are expected, flying debris may be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicle will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Pine and Ebenezer. Take cover now. Move to a storm shelter, safe room, or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for Northern Upshur County in Northeast Texas, Southeastern Camp County in Northeast Texas, Southeastern Titus County in Northeast Texas, Southwestern Morris County in Northeast Texas, until 5.22 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.52 p.m. Central Standard Time. time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 5 miles west-southwest of Pine, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Expected hazards included The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for Central Morris County in Northeast Texas, Western Cass County in Northeast Texas, until 5.44 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 5.13 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed tornado was located 3 miles south-southwest of Casson, or 8 miles northwest of Lone Star, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado and ping pong ball size hail. Source, emergency management confirmed tornado. At 5.15 p.m., multiple reports of a tornado touchdown were received about two miles southeast of Casson. Impact, flying debris may be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicle will occur. Tree damage is likely. The tornado will be near Dangerfield at 5.18 p.m. Central Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Casson. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for Central Morris County in Northeast Texas, Western Cass County in Northeast Texas, until 5.44 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 5.13 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed tornado was located. At 4.42 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 3 miles south of Wyndham, or near Wyndham, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Expected hazards included a tornado and half-dollar-size hail. 
This is a radar indicated threat rotation. The following impacts are expected, flying debris may be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. The National Weather Service in Fort Worth has issued a tornado warning for Northeastern Lamar County in Northeast Texas, Northwestern Red River County in Northeast Texas, until 5.49 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 5.18 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located one mile northwest of Amherst, or near Amherst, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. Expected hazards included a tornado and half-dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat rotation. The following impacts are expected, flying debris may be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicle will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include, Amherst, Pinhook and Woodland. Take cover now. Move to a storm shelter, safe room, or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Fort Worth has issued a tornado warning for Northeastern until 5.44 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 5.13 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed tornado was located three miles south-southwest of Cassin, or eight... The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for northwestern Cass County in northeast Texas, southern Bowie County in northeast Texas, until 6.3 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 5.31 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Cornet, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado and ping-pong ball-size hail. Severe weather has been confirmed by local law enforcement. At 5.30 p.m., power flashes were reported southwest of Cornet. The following impacts are expected, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles as likely and complete destruction as possible. Locations impacted include, Cornet and Marietta. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a storm shelter, safe room, or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for northwestern Cass County in northeast Texas, southern Bowie County in northeast Texas, until 6.3 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 5.31 p.m.
The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch Number 15, effective until 2 a.m. Central Standard Time. This watch includes the following counties, in Oklahoma, the curtain. Remember, a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornado, large hail or damaging winds, in or close to the watch area. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for northwestern Red River County in northeast Texas, southwestern McCurtain County in southeast Oklahoma, until 6.9 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 5.39 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed tornado was located 4 miles east of Fogville, or 6 miles northwest of Manchester, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour hazard damaging tornado and ping pong size hail source storm spotters confirmed tornado at 5:40 p.m. multiple reports of a tornado touchdown were received about 7 miles west northwest of manchester impact flying debris may be dangerous to those caught without shelter mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed damage to roofs windows and vehicles will occur tree damage is likely. The tornado will be near Valiant at 5.53 p.m. Central Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Wright City and Millerton. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, Move to close a substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for northwestern Red River County in northeast Texas, southwestern McCurtain County in southeast Oklahoma, until 6.9 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 5.39 p.m. Central Standard Time. Central Standard Time. At 5.31 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Cornet, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous... The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for Northern Cass County in Northeast Texas, Southern Bowie County in Northeast Texas, until 6.12 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 5.46 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Douglasville, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado and hail up to golf ball size. Severe weather has been confirmed by storm spotters. At 5.43 p.m., power flashes and ground scouring were reported west-northwest of Douglasville. The following impacts are expected. You are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include, Redwater. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a storm shelter, safe room, or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, 
Move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for Northern Cass County in Northeast Texas, Southern Bowie County in Northeast Texas, until... This is your weather radio station WNG650 in center, operating on a frequency of 162.525 MHz. Programming originates from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Shreveport. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch Number 15, effective until 2 a.m. Central Standard Time. This watch includes the following counties in Texas. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Rusk County in northeast Texas, southwestern Panola County in northeast Texas, until 6.28 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 5.57 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located four miles northeast of Mount Enterprise, or near Mount Enterprise, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 70 mile per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs and outbuildings. Locations impacted include Dotson, Clayton, Gary City, Antioch and Carthage. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Rusk County in northeast Texas, southwestern Panola County in northeast Texas. Moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. Hazard damaging tornado and ping pong size hail. Source, storm spotters confirm tornado. At 5.40 p.m., multiple reports of a tornado touchdown were received about 7 miles west-northwest of Manchester. Impact. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for Central McCurtain County in southeast Oklahoma until 6.37 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 6.4 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Wright City, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado and ping-pong ball size hail. Severe weather has been confirmed by local law enforcement. At 6.2 p.m., power flashes were reported east of Wright City. The following impacts are expected. You are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Wright City and Hotchatown. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a storm shelter, safe room, or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. 
If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for Central McCurtain County in Southeast Oklahoma until 6.37 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 6.4 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Wright City, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. A confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Douglasville, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado and hail up to golf ball size. Severe weather has been confirmed by storm spotters. At 5.43 p.m., power flashes and ground scouring were reported with Tornado emergency for Texarkana. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for eastern Bowie County in northeast Texas, northern Miller County in southwest Arkansas, southwest Hempstead County in southwest Arkansas, until 6.42 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 6.9 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was observed over Bowie County School of Success or near Texarkana, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Tornado emergency for Texarkana. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, deadly tornado and hail up to golf ball size. Source, local law enforcement reported tornado. Law enforcement in Bowie County have reported a large tornado bearing down on southwestern Texarkana. In addition, Power flashes have been observed southwest of Liberty Eel Elementary School. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction as possible. The tornado will be near Liberty Eel High School now. Downtown Texarkana around 6.13 p.m. Central Standard Time. Arkansas High School around 6.15 p.m. Central Standard Time. Texarkana Regional Airport around 6.17 p.m. Central Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include the Bi-State Justice Center. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle, or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. A large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. Take immediate precautions. This is an emergency situation.
A severe thunderstorm was located 4 miles northeast of Mount Enterprise, or near Mount Enterprise, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 70 mile per hour wind gusts. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Panola County in northeast Texas, southeastern Harrison County in northeast Texas, southwestern Cattle Parish in northwest Louisiana, until 6.55 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 6.25 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed tornado was located 4 miles northeast of Carthage, or 5 miles north of Antioch moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado and ping pong ball size hail. Source, law enforcement confirmed tornado. At 6.20 p.m., multiple reports of a tornado touchdown were received about one mile south of Carthage. Impact, flying debris may be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. The tornado will be near to bury at 6.37 p.m. Central Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Spring Ridge. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to close a substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for... Source, law enforcement confirmed tornado. At 6.20 p.m., multiple reports of a tornado touchdown were received about one mile south of Carthage. Impact, flying debris may be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Panola County in northeast Texas, southeastern Harrison County in northeast Texas, southwestern Cattle Parish in northwest Louisiana, until 7.8 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 6.31 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near DeBerry, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado and ping pong ball size hail. Severe weather has been confirmed by storm spotters. At 6.29 p.m., power flashes and ground scouring were reported southwest of the Berry. The following impacts are expected. You are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction as possible. Locations impacted include DeBerry, Spring Ridge, Bethany and Shreveport Regional Airport. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a storm shelter, safe room or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris.
The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Panola County in northeast Texas, southeastern Harrison County in northeast Texas, southwestern Cattle Parish in northwest Louisiana, until 7, 8 p.m. Central. Severe weather has been confirmed by local law enforcement. At 6.2 p.m., power flashes were reported east of Wright City. The following impacts are expected, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for northeastern McCurtain County in southeast Oklahoma, western Polk County in southwest Arkansas, until 7.10 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 6.33 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located 9 miles northeast of Hotchatown, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado and ping pong ball size hail. Severe weather has been confirmed by storm spotters. At 6.25 p.m., power flashes and ground scouring were reported north of Hotchatown. The following impacts are expected, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Hatton, Vandervoort, Cove and Hatfield. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a storm shelter, safe room or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for northeastern McCurtain County in southeast Oklahoma, western Polk County in southwest Arkansas, until 7.10 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 6.33 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Deberry, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado and ping pong ball size hail. Severe weather has been confirmed by storm spotters. Particularly dangerous situation. 
take cover now. Hazard, deadly tornado and hail up to golf ball size. Source, storm spotters and emergency management confirmed large tornado over Shreveport Regional Airport near Shreveport. In addition, at 7.4 p.m., large swaths of debris from destroyed buildings were reported to be blocking roadways and underground shelters southeast of Greenwood. Impact, URMA life, threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Shreveport, Red Shoot, Adner, Bonkai, Eastwood, Fillmore, Princeton, and Bellevue. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a storm shelter, safe room, or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle, or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself. Tornado Emergency for Shreveport A tornado warning remains in effect until 7.40 p.m. Central Standard Time for Southeastern Caddo, Central... This is your NOAA weather radio station WXJ48 in Gurdon, operating on a frequency of 162.475 MHz. Programming originates from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Little Rock. You are listening to Gurdon Weather Radio, and here are 7 p.m. observations at Gurdon. National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch Number 16, effective until 4 a.m. Central Standard Time. This watch includes the following counties, in Arkansas, Pulaski, Saline, Lanark, Jefferson, Grant, Hot Spring, Garland, Perry, Faulkner, White, Prairie, Arkansas, Lincoln, Cleveland, Dallas, Clark, Montgomery, Yell, Conway, Van Buren, Cleburne, Independence, Jackson, Woodruff. Bimo, Desha, Drew, Bradley, Calhoun, Quachita, Pike, Hoke, Scott, Logan, Johnson, Polk, Newton, Searcy, Stone, Izzard, Sharp, Boone, Marion, Baxter, and Fulton. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Remember, a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for severe weather in or close to the watch area. Persons in these areas should be alert for threatening weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for Northern Nevada County in Southwest Arkansas, Southern Clark County in Central Arkansas, Western Dallas County in Central Arkansas, until 7.43 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 7.7 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed tornado was located three miles northeast of Redland, or five miles south-southwest of Bayern, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado and golf ball size hail. Source, storm spotters confirm tornado. At 7.3 p.m., multiple reports of a tornado touchdown were received about one mile south of Redland. Impact, flying debris may be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. 
damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. The tornado will be near. Bjorn at 7.11 p.m. Central Standard Time. Gurdon at 7.17 p.m. Central Standard Time. Sparkman at 7.31 p.m. Central Standard Time. Manning at 7.40 p.m. Central Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Gurdon. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for Northern Nevada County in Southwest Arkansas, Southern Clark County in Central Arkansas, Western Dallas County in Central Arkansas, until 7.43 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 7.7 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed tornado was located. This is your NOAA weather radio station KXI-92, in high peak, operating on a frequency of 162.425 MHz. Programming originates from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Little Rock. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch No. 16, effective until 4 a.m. Central Standard Time. This watch includes the following counties, in Arkansas, Pulaski, Saline, The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for Northern Pike County in Central Arkansas, Southeastern Montgomery County in Central Arkansas, Northwestern Clark County in Central Arkansas, Western Hot Spring County in Central Arkansas, Southern Garland County in Central Arkansas, until 7.50 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 7.13 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located one mile north-northeast of Daisy, or near Daisy, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Expected hazards included a tornado and ping-pong ball-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat rotation. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris may be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Daisy, Lodi, Kirby, Glenwood, Rossboro, Mazern, Bonnerdale, and Perky. Take cover now. Move to a storm shelter, safe room, or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for Northern Pike County in Central Arkansas, Southeastern Mid Standard time, a confirmed tornado was located 3 miles northeast of Redland, or 5 miles south-southwest of Bairn, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for 
northeastern Dallas County in central Arkansas, northwestern Cleveland County in central Arkansas, southeastern Grant County in central Arkansas, until 8.13 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 7.37 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Manning, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado and hail up to baseball size. Severe weather has been confirmed by storm spotters. At 7.31 p.m., power flashes were reported north-northwest of Sparkman. The following impacts are expected. You are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Manning, Princeton, Carthage, Bun, and Grapevine. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a storm shelter, safe room, or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for West Central Dallas County in Central Arkansas, Northwestern Cleveland County in Central Arkansas. Southern Garland County in Central Arkansas, until 7.50 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 7.13 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located one mile north-northeast of Daisy, or near Daisy. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for North Central Hot Spring County in Central Arkansas, Southeastern Garland County in Central Arkansas, West Central Saline County in Central Arkansas, until 8.22 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 7.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed tornado was located two miles southeast of Perky or 7 miles east-northeast of Bonnerdale, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado and golf ball size hail. Source, storm spotters confirm tornado. At 7.40 p.m., multiple reports of a tornado touchdown were received about 2 miles east of Bonnerdale. Impact, flying debris may be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. The tornado will be near Pleasant Hill at 7.53 p.m. Central Standard Time, Rockwell at 7.55 p.m. Central Standard Time, Hot Springs at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, Lonsdale at 8.14 p.m. Central Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Perky, Piney, Lake Hamilton, Price, Fountain Lake in Owensville. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for North Central Hot Spring County.
This is NOAA, All Hazards, the voice of the National Weather Service, Station WNG 725, serving the El Dorado listening area. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch Number 16, effective until 4 a.m. Central Standard Time. This watch includes the following counties, in Arkansas, Columbia, Union, Lafayette, The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for North Central Claiborne Parish in North Central Louisiana, Southeastern Columbia County in South Central Arkansas, Southwestern Union County in South Central Arkansas, until 8.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 8.8 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Haynesville moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado and golf ball size hail. Severe weather has been confirmed by local law enforcement. At 8.4 p.m., power flashes and ground scouring were reported southeast of Haynesville. The following impacts are expected. You are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Haynesville, Wesson, Newell, and El Dorado. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a storm shelter, safe room or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for North Central Claiborne Parish in North Central Louisiana, Southeastern Columbia County, The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch Number 16, effective until 4 a.m. Central Standard Time. This watch includes the following counties, in Arkansas, Pulaski, Saline, Lanuck, Jefferson, Grant, Hot Spring, Garland, Perry, Faulkner, White, Prairie, Arkansas, Lincoln, Cleveland, Dallas, Clark, The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Grant County in central Arkansas, southwestern Jefferson County in central Arkansas, until 8.46 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 8.10 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Grapevine, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado and hail up to baseball size. Severe weather has been confirmed by storm spotters. At 8.5 p.m., power flashes and ground scouring were reported southwest of Grapevine. The following impacts are expected. You are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Grapevine, Whitehall, Pine Bluff, 
Haywood, Alzheimer, and New Gascony. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a storm shelter, safe room, or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Grant County in central Arkansas, southwestern Jefferson County in central Arkansas, until 8.46 p.m. This is your NOAA Weather Radio Station WXJ55, serving Little Rock and surrounding areas. Programming originates from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Little Rock. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch Number 16, effective until 4 a.m. Central Standard Time. This watch includes the following counties, in Arkansas, Pulaski, Saline, Lanark, Jefferson, Grant, Hot Spring, Garland, Perry, Faulkner, White, Prairie, Arkansas. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for Eastern Garland County in Central Arkansas. Central Saline County in Central Arkansas, West Central Pulaski County in Central Arkansas, until 8.52 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 8.16 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Lonsdale, or 4 miles south of Owensville, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. The tornado will be near, close around 8.21 p.m. Central Standard Time, Kentucky around 8.27 p.m. Central Standard Time, Salem around 8.32 p.m. Central Standard Time, Alpine around 8.42 p.m. Central Standard Time, Little Rock around 8.52 p.m. Central Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this dangerous thunderstorm include Lonsdale, Avila, and Bryant. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Little Rock by calling toll 31-501-834-0308 or by posting on our Facebook page, or tweet and use a hashtag NWSLR. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 8.52 p.m. Central Standard Time for the following counties, in Arkansas, Garland, Saline, and Pulaski. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for Eastern Garland County in Central Arkansas, Central Saline County in Central Arkansas, West Central Pulaski County in Central Arkansas, until 8.52 p.m. Central Standard Time.
located near a grapevine, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado and hail up to baseball size. Severe weather has been confirmed by storm spotters. At 8.5 p.m., power flashes and ground scouring were reported southwest of Grapevine. The following impacts are expected. You are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Consider Tornado emergency for Pine Bluff. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for East Central Jefferson County in Central Arkansas, Northwestern Arkansas County in Central Arkansas, until 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 8.26 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and destructive tornado was observed over southwestern Pine Bluff, or near Pine Bluff, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This tornado has a history of severe damage in rural areas southwest of Pine Bluff. Tornado emergency for Pine Bluff. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, deadly tornado and hail up to golf ball size. Source, local law enforcement reported tornado. Law enforcement in Pine Bluff have reported a large tornado bearing down on southwestern Pine Bluff. In addition, Power flashes have been observed north of Watson Chapel High School. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. The tornado will be near downtown Pine Bluff around 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Arkansas Railroad Museum around 8.31 p.m. Central Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Greenville Elementary School. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle, or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. A large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. Take immediate tornado precautions. This is an emergency situation. Tornado emergency for Pine Bluff. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for East Central Jefferson County in Central Arkansas, Northwestern Arkansas County in Central Arkansas, until 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 8.26 p.m. Southwestern Union County in South Central Arkansas until 8.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 8.8 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Haynesville moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards in... Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for North Central Union County in South Central Arkansas, Southern Calhoun County in South Central Arkansas, 
southwestern Bradley County in south central Arkansas until 9.14 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 8.34 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and destructive tornado was observed over Newell, or near El Dorado, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This tornado has a history of severe damage in Shreveport and surrounding areas. Tornado Emergency for El Dorado This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, deadly tornado and hail up to golf ball size. Source, local law enforcement reported tornado. Law enforcement in El Dorado have reported a large tornado bearing down on southwestern El Dorado. In addition, power flashes have been observed southwest of Parker's Chapel High School. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. The tornado will be near Lighthouse Church now. Downtown El Dorado around 8.39 p.m. Central Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include the El Dorado Recreation Complex. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle, or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. A large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. Take immediate tornado precautions. This is an emergency situation. Tornado emergency for El Dorado. The National Weather Service in Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for North Central Union County in South Central Arkansas, Southern Calhoun County in South Central Arkansas, Southwestern Bradley County in South Central Arkansas, until 9.14 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 8.34 p.m. Central Standard Time, a... A large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from... Large multi-vortex tornado on the ground southeast of Alpine, tornado emergency for Little Rock. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for Central Pulaski County in Central Arkansas, Northern Lanark County in Central Arkansas, until 9.26 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 8.49 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and destructive tornado was located 4 miles southeast of Alpine, or near Alpine, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. The Little Rock metropolitan area is in the direct path of this violent tornado. If in Little Rock, do not delay, seek immediate shelter now to protect your life. Tornado emergency for Little Rock. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Seek immediate shelter now. Hazard, deadly tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. At 8.48 p.m., radar confirmed a large multi-vortex tornado causing catastrophic damage southeast of Alpine. Additionally, 
This tornado has a history of cataclysmic damage and loss of life over Lonsdale in Kentucky, and a history of homes being completely swept away without a trace, scoured roadways and down power lines in the towns of Lonsdale in Kentucky. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Loss of life is likely in the emergency area. Buildings above ground will offer no protection. Mobile homes will be completely obliterated. Complete destruction of homes and businesses, in addition to entire neighborhoods, is likely. Extensive power outages will occur. Mass devastation will almost be certain, rendering the area unrecognizable to survivors. The tornado will be near southwest Little Rock now. University of Arkansas around 8.53 p.m. Central Standard Time. Downtown Little Rock around 8.57 p.m. Central Standard Time. North Little Rock around 8.58 p.m. Central Standard Time. Macklemont around 9.3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this dangerous thunderstorm include the Arkansas Children's Hospital. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. A large, violent and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. You could be killed, if not underground or in a tornado shelter. To protect your life, seek immediate shelter underground or on the lowest floor of Case 30 building. Mobile homes and outbuildings should be evacuated for more substantial shelter. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Little Rock by calling toll free one 501 834-0308 or by posting on our Facebook or tweet and use a hashtag and WSLR. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 9.26 p.m. Central Standard Time for the following counties in Arkansas, Pulaski and Lanark. Large multi-vortex tornado on the ground southeast of Alpine, tornado emergency for Little Rock. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for Central Pulaski County in Central Arkansas, Northern Lanark County in Central Arkansas, until 9.26 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 8 this NOAA weather radio station is temporarily off the air. Please tune to an alternate weather radio broadcast or visit weather.gov for the latest weather information. This NOAA weather radio station is temporarily off the air. Please tune to an alternate weather radio broadcast or visit weather.gov for the latest weather information. This NOAA weather radio station is temporarily off the air. Please tune to an alternate weather radio broadcast or visit weather.gov for the latest weather information. This NOAA weather. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch Number 16, effective until 4 a.m. Central Standard Time. This watch includes the following parishes, in Louisiana, Cameron, Vermilion, Acadia, Jefferson Davis, Calgasiu, Roth. National Weather Service in Lake Charles has issued a tornado warning for North Central Avoyals Parish in Southwest Louisiana, Southern Catahoula Parish in Northeast Louisiana, Central Concordia Parish in Northeast Louisiana, West Central Adams County in Southwest Mississippi, until 9.29 p.m. Central Standard Time. 
At 8.52 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 7 miles east-northeast of Bouillet, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Expected hazards included a tornado and golf ball-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat rotation. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris may be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include St. Genevieve and Cloverdale. Take cover now. Move to a storm shelter, safe room, or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Lake Charles has issued a tornado warning for North Central Avoyals Parish in Southwest Louisiana, Southern Catahoula Parish in Northeast Louisiana, Central Concordia Parish in Northeast Louisiana, West Central Standard time, a confirmed large and destructive tornado was observed over southwestern Pine Bluff, or near Pine Bluff, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This tornado has a history of severe... The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for Northern Arkansas County in Central Arkansas, West Central Monroe County in Central Arkansas, until 9.32 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 8.55 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed tornado was located 4 miles southeast of Humphrey, or 8 miles southwest of Stuttgart, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Hazard Damaging tornado and hail up to baseball size. Source, storm spotters confirm tornado. At 8.52 p.m., multiple reports of a tornado touchdown were received about six miles south-southeast of Humphrey. Impact, flying debris may be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. The tornado will be near Stuttgart at 9.4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yoder at 9.5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Casco at 9.16 p.m. Central Standard Time. Aberdeen at 9.21 p.m. Central Standard Time. Holly Grove at 9.27 p.m. Central Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Duncan. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to close a substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for Northern Arkansas County in Central Arkansas, West Central Monroe County in Central Arkansas, until 9.32 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 8.55 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed tornado was located 4 miles southeast of Humphrey, or 8 miles southwest of Stuttgart, moving northeast at 55. This is your NOAA weather radio station KXI-96, in Russell, 
operating on a frequency of 162.400 MHz. Programming originates from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Little Rock. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch Number 16, effective until 4 a.m. Central Standard Time. This watch includes the following counties, in Arkansas, Pulaski, Saline, Lanuck, Jefferson, Grant, Hotspur. Tornado emergency for northeastern Lanuck, northwestern Prairie, and southeastern White counties. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Lanuck County in central Arkansas, northwestern Prairie County in central Arkansas, southeastern White County in central Arkansas, until 9.57 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 9.20 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and destructive tornado was located 4 miles north-northeast of Furlough, or near Furlough, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Spotters have reported shelters above ground being completely obliterated and destroyed in the Little Rock Metro. If you are in northeastern Lanuck, northwestern Prairie, or southeastern White Counties, do not delay, seek immediate shelter now. Tornado Emergency for Northeastern Lanuck Northwestern Prairie, and Southeastern White Counties. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Seek an underground shelter immediately. Hazard, Deadly Tornado. Source, Weather Spotters confirmed large tornado estimated to be 2 miles wide in diameter. This tornado has a history of catastrophic to cataclysmic damage ranging from homes, businesses, and shelters above ground being swept away completely in Lonsdale. Kentucky, and the Little Rock Metro, to ground scouring along an area ranging from Hot Springs to north of Furlough. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Loss of life is likely in the emergency area. Buildings above ground will offer no protection. Mobile homes will be completely obliterated. Complete destruction of homes and businesses, in addition to entire neighborhoods, is likely. Extensive power outages will occur. Mass devastation will almost be certain, rendering the area unrecognizable to survivors. The tornado will be near, would run around 9.25 p.m. Central Standard Time. Butlerville around 9.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Walker around 9.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. Happy around 9.49 p.m. Central Standard Time. Andrews around 9.52 p.m. Central Standard Time. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. A large, violent and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. You could be killed, if not underground or in a tornado shelter. To protect your life, seek immediate shelter underground or on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Mobile homes and outbuildings should be evacuated for more substantial shelter. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 9.57 p.m. Central Standard Time for the following counties, in Arkansas, Lanuck, Prairie and White. Tornado emergency for northeastern Lanuck, northwestern Prairie, and southeastern White counties. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Lanuck County in central Arkansas, northwestern Prairie County in... This is your NOAA Weather Radio Station KIH 48 serving Butte and surrounding areas. Programming originates from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Jackson. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch Number 16, effective until 4 a.m. Central Standard Time. This watch includes the following counties, in Mississippi, Hines, Rankin, Madison, Yazoo, Warren, Claiborne, Capayan.
The National Weather Service in Jackson has issued a tornado warning for Northern Adams County in southwest Mississippi, southwestern Jefferson County in southwest Mississippi, until 10.01 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 9.24 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed tornado was located 4 miles south-southeast of St. Genevieve, or 5 miles west-southwest of Cloverdale, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado and golf ball size hail. Source, radar confirmed tornado. At 9.20 p.m., radar confirmed a tornado touched down about 6 miles south-southwest of St. Genevieve. Impact. Flying debris may be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. The tornado will be near Cloverdale at 9.28 p.m. Central Standard Time. Natchez at 9.33 p.m. Central Standard Time. Washington at 9.38 p.m. Central Standard Time. Stanton at 9.43 p.m. Central Standard Time. Fayette at 9.57 p.m. Central Standard Time. Harriston at 9.59 p.m. Central Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include the Natchez Adams County Airport. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Jackson has issued a tornado warning for Northern Adams County in southwest Mississippi, southwestern Jefferson County. p.m. Central Standard Time. At 9.20 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and destructive tornado was located 4 miles. National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for East Central Monroe County in Central Arkansas, Northwestern Lee County in East Central Arkansas, South Central St. Francis County in East Central Arkansas, until 10.05 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 9.27 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Duncan, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado and golf ball size hail. Severe weather has been confirmed by storm spotters. At 9.24 p.m., power flashes were reported southwest of Duncan. The following impacts are expected. You are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Duncan, Blackton, Monroe, Aubrey, Morrow, Oak Forest, Mariana, Haynes, and Brickies. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a storm shelter, safe room or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for East Central Monroe County in Central Arkansas, Northwestern Lee County in East Central Arkansas.
This is your known weather radio station KIH 38 in Jackson, operating on a frequency of 162.400 MHz. Programming originates from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Jackson. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch Number 16, effective until 4 a.m. Central Standard Time. This watch includes the following counties, in Mississippi, Hines, Rankin, Madison, Yazoo, Warren, Clay. The National Weather Service in Jackson has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Jefferson County in southwest Mississippi, southeastern Claiborne County in southwest Mississippi, northwestern Kapaya County in southwest Mississippi, until 10.31 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 9.55 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Fayette, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado and golf ball size hail. Severe weather has been confirmed by storm spotters. At 9.50 p.m., power flashes were reported northeast of Stanton. The following impacts are expected. You are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Fayette and Harriston. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a storm shelter, safe room, or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Jackson has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Jefferson County in southwest Mississippi, southeastern Claiborne County in southwest Mississippi, northwestern Kapaya County in southwest Mississippi. This is your known weather radio station WXK49, in Memphis, operating on a frequency of 162.475 MHz. Programming originates from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Memphis. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch Number 16, effective until 4 a.m. Central Standard Time. This watch includes the following counties, in Tennessee, Shelby, Tipton, Fayette, Haywood, Lauderdale, Crockett. The National Weather Service in Memphis has issued a tornado warning for North Central Lee County in East Central Arkansas, Southeastern St. Francis County in East Central Arkansas, Southern Cretendon County in Northeast Arkansas, Southwestern Shelby County in West Tennessee, until 10.39 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 10 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Haynes, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado and golf ball size hail. Source, radar confirmed tornado. At 10.26 p.m., power flashes were reported northwest of Mariana. The following impacts are expected, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. 
Locations impacted include Brickies, Winima, Hughes, Greasy Corner, Factor, Midway Corner, and Edmondson. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a storm shelter, safe room, or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Memphis has issued a tornado warning for North Central Lee County in East Central Arkansas. PM Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado is located near Fayette, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado. The National Weather Service in Jackson has issued a tornado warning for East Central Claiborne County in southwest Mississippi, Northwestern Kapaya County in southwest Mississippi, Southwestern Hines County in central Mississippi, until 11.04 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 10.26 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Carlisle, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado and golf ball size hail. Source, radar confirmed tornado. At 10.22 p.m., power flashes were reported southeast of Hermanville. The following impacts are expected. You are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Bear Creek, Dabney Crossroads, Palestine, and Birum. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a storm shelter, safe room, or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Jackson has issued a tornado warning for East Central Claiborne County in southwest Mississippi, Northwestern Kapaya County in southwest Mississippi, Southwestern Hines County in central Mississippi. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Brickies, Winima, Hughes, Greasy Corner, Factor, Midway Corner, and Edmondson. To repeat, a large. Emergency for West Memphis, Downtown Memphis, Lenox, Bartlett, and Egypt. The National Weather Service in Memphis has issued a tornado warning for East Central Cretendon County in Northeast Arkansas, Central Shelby County in West Tennessee, until 11.11 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 10.33 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed large and destructive tornado was observed over Midway Corner, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. 
Tornado emergency for West Memphis, downtown Memphis, Lenox, Bartlett, and Egypt. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Those in the emergency area should not delay. Take cover now. Expected hazards include an extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado. A tornado has been confirmed by train weather spotters. At 10.29 p.m., a train spotter reported a large tornado southwest of Midway Corner, quickly moving northeastward. At 10.31 p.m., a mobile Doppler radar site near Midway Corner reported wind speeds of over 295 miles per hour in association with the tornado. Casualties, collapsed foundations, and scoured roadways have been reported in Hughes. On the present path, this extremely dangerous tornado will cause mass devastation to the downtown area of Memphis. Those in Memphis and areas of the western and northern metro should immediately seek shelter now. The following impacts are expected, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include, Midway Corner, West Memphis, Downtown Memphis, Lenox, Bartlett, Egypt, Lakeland, and Brunswick. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a storm shelter, safe room, or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle, or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. This tornado has the potential to cause mass devastation and loss of life in the emergency area. Mobile homes and buildings above ground will not offer any protection from this violent tornado, as there are reports of foundations completely scoured and defoliated in hues. Seek an underground shelter immediately. A large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. Take immediate tornado precautions. This is an emergency situation. Tornado emergency for West Memphis, downtown Memphis, Lenox, Bartlett, and Egypt. The National Weather Service in Memphis has issued a tornado warning for East Central Cretendon County in Northeast Arkansas. are expected, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include, Bear Creek, Dabney Crossroads, Palestine, and Durham. To repeat, Devastating to unprecedented damage expected, tornado emergency for Jackson. The National Weather Service in Jackson has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Hines County in central Mississippi, northern Rankin County in central Mississippi, until 11.36 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 10.59 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed historic large and destructive tornado with an extensive history of catastrophic damage was continuing to be tracked by Doppler radar, located 6 miles northwest of Durham, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Tornado Emergency for Jackson This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Seek an underground shelter immediately to protect your life. Expected hazards include an extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado. A tornado has been confirmed by trained weather spotters and local law enforcement. This tornado has an extensive history of producing cataclysmic damage in Fayette and Dabney Crossroads. 
In addition, a mobile Doppler on wheels near Birum, in addition to a mobile Doppler radar site near Palestine, has indicated wind speeds in excess of 300 miles per hour as this unprecedented tornado continues to track northeastward towards the city of Jackson. Scoured foundations, concrete and steel being lifted, and mangled power lines have been reported as this tornado tracked through Jefferson, Claiborne, Capaya, and Hines counties. Residents in Jackson, regardless of where your present location is, should seek an immediate underground shelter now. The following impacts are expected, you are in a life-threatening situation. You will face almost certain death if struck by flying debris. Mobile homes and buildings above ground will offer no protection. Extensive damage to buildings, if not complete destruction, will occur. Extensive power outages will be likely. Mass devastation will almost be certain, rendering the area unrecognizable to survivors. Locations in or near the path include, Southwest Jackson, Downtown Jackson, Flowood, and Woodlake. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle, or outdoors, move the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. A large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. Take immediate tornado precautions. This is an emergency situation. Devastating to unprecedented damage expected, tornado emergency for Jackson. The National Weather Service in Jackson has issued a tornado warning for Northeastern Hines County in Central Mississippi, Northern Rankin County in The following message has been transmitted at the request of the emergency management in Cretendon and Shelby counties. Widespread mass destruction has been reported in the Memphis metro as a result of a large destructive multi-vortex tornado that tore through the area earlier tonight. In the worst hit areas, foundations have been reported scoured, buildings have suffered a complete collapse due to damage sustained, roads have been ripped clean of asphalt, and power lines have been mangled beyond recognition. Many roads are, additionally, left impassable due to large chunks of debris blocking, or, in some cases, generating more debris as a result of some highway bridges collapsing. If you require assistance, emergency services are unable to reach you at this time. Additionally, residents are reportedly trapped in underground shelters. If you require emergency assistance, do not leave your present location at this time. The National Guard is currently en route to assist those in need of assistance in the Metro. Leave 911 open for emergency use only. If you are outside of areas affected by these storms, do not check in until it is deemed safe to do so by the National Guard and authorities. The station will go off the air until further information is received. For now, continue monitoring local media outlets for the latest information.
following message has been transmitted at the request of the emergency management in Boyd County. A state of emergency is in effect for Boyd County due to severe weather that affected the area earlier yesterday evening. Mass devastation due to a large wedge tornado has been reported in Texarkana. Buildings in Texarkana are reported to be severely damaged, with some being completely swept away. Roads in Texarkana have been completely blocked as a result of large debris. If you are in the worst hit areas, and require assistance, emergency services will not be able to reach you. In addition, there are reports of residents trapped in their underground shelters. If you require assistance, do not dial 911. Leave the lines open for official use only. The Texas National Guard is currently on site to assist those affected in Texarkana. If you live outside of the warned areas, do not assist the areas affected until the situation is further assessed by the National Guard, or is given the all clear by the proper authorities. The station will now go off the air until further information is received. For now, continue monitoring local media outlets for the latest information. The following message was transmitted at the request of the Pulaski County Emergency Management. Complete and total destruction, if it can even be called that, has been reported in the Little Rock Metro as a result of a large multi-vortex tornado earlier tonight. Buildings in the majority of downtown Little Rock have been reported to have vanished off of the face of the earth due to the sheer power of this tornado. Power outages are widespread in the metro further complicating emergency services to the area where power poles had been snapped, or in the worst hit areas, non-existent. In addition, shelters had been reported to be completely decimated above, or underground, due to a large amount of reported ground scouring in portions of the metro. At this time, a massive search and recovery effort is underway in the metro. If it can even be described as such, the worst hit areas were wiped off the map, to the point where civilization never existed to begin with. Any further information is being withheld at this time until the situation is further assessed, as efforts at search and recovery continue. The station will be going off the air until further notice, to conserve whatever power is left. At this time, tune to a local radio station for further information on the situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the emergency management in Hines and Rankin counties. Extensive, if not, apocalyptic decimation has been reported in the city of Jackson due to a large, violent, multi-vortex tornado. 
power lines had been reported snapped, with some completely non-existent, and some snapped leading to extensive power outages in the metro. Buildings have suffered complete, if not, total defoliation as a result of not only damage from the tornado, but damage from the debris lifted by the tornado. In a manner similar to Little Rock in Memphis, roadways have been completely disassembled to the point where only gravel, if not dirt, exists where they once were. Automobiles have been mangled and crushed beyond recognition, some to the point where anything was unrecognizable to begin with. In a disturbing sequence similar to Little Rock, some shelters had been reported swept away, regardless if they were above or underground, due to the sheer power of this tornado, and extensive ground scouring outside of and in the city of Jackson. Emergency management in Hines and Rankin counties and the surrounding vicinity are requesting that residents do not travel throughout the morning hours. If you must travel, you do so at your own risk and avoid any areas, especially the worst hit areas, as emergency services are already having a difficult time reaching the people affected. Stay tuned to know whether radio or your local media outlets for the latest information on this dangerous situation. This is Noah Weather Radio Station KIH 38 in Jackson. These broadcasts originate from the National Weather Service. The following message was transmitted at the request of the Caddo and Bossier parishes in Shreveport. Severe damage to near complete destruction of Shreveport from a large, violent, and deadly tornado that tore through the metropolitan area has occurred. At this time, most buildings have been severely damaged or reduced to rubble, along with vehicles, homes and infrastructure in the area. Some ground scouring has also been reported. A majority of the city is also without power, as a number of power poles and electrical lines have been snapped. The damage can be described as unsurvivable if not in a tornado shelter or underground. Those left alive are advised to wait for help from emergency officials. Do not go into the affected area for any reason, even if not blocked by debris. It is unknown how long it will take before full rescue efforts are complete before search and recovery operations begin. Stay tuned to this no weather radio station or other media outlets for the latest information. This is no weather radio station WXJ97 in Shreveport. These broadcasts originate from the National Weather Center. You are listening to NOAA, All Hazards, the voice of the National Weather Service, Station WXK49, serving the Memphis listening area. The following is a storm survey report. A line of thunderstorms was first noted to have developed over areas of central Oklahoma and central and north central Texas, at around 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, prompting severe thunderstorm watches to be issued for the area. However, as these storms track northeastward, they begin to move into an environment considered exceptionally favorable for the development of strong, long-track tornadoes. These conditions prompted a tornado watch to be issued for portions of southwest Oklahoma and north-central and northeast Texas. Eventually, the first tornado warnings would be issued at around 4.29 p.m. Central Standard Time for areas in northeast Texas. However, this would only mark the beginning of a day that would be etched into the history books. 
a little while after, another tornado watch would be issued for most of Arkansas, and areas of southwest Tennessee, northeast and central Mississippi, and northern Louisiana. The first notable long-track tornado would occur in the vicinity of Texarkana. As this line of storms progressed, tornado warnings, and, eventually, tornado emergencies would be issued for portions of our county warning area, particularly around the Memphis area. The following survey contains information specific to the Memphis tornado. It was determined that the Memphis tornado began life south-southeast of Humphrey, rapidly intensifying into a wedge south of Stuttgart. What would happen next is, in essence, disturbing to say the least. Southeastern parts of Stuttgart would be wiped off the face of the earth, with areas completely unrecognizable to survivors. The tornado would proceed to cause extensive to cataclysmic devastation in the city of Memphis. More specifically, the following information was reported on a survey regarding damage from the Memphis Metro. A large debris signature was indicated, with multiple vortices reported by Doppler radar as this tornado tracked through the metro area, with the worst hit areas being described as inaccessible to even emergency services. Concrete has been scoured about, blocking a large majority of roadways entering and exiting the metro, with some instances of bridges collapsing as a result of the large debris. A Doppler radar managed to observe briefly, a peak speed of 300 miles per hour as this tornado quickly moved northeastward across the Memphis metro. A significant number of injuries and fatalities were reported in Memphis due to the extreme amounts of devastation caused by this tornado. In the worst hit areas, foundations were completely scoured to the point where complete destruction occurred only seconds after being lifted from the ground, in addition to asphalt being scoured from roadways trees being snapped and completely uprooted, with some areas of these trees being completely unrecognizable. This tornado would also directly impact the cities of Lakeland and Arlington, leaving damage that could only be described as cataclysmic. In conclusion, the last rating of an F5, or an EF5, in our county warning area was Smithville of 2011. For the first time since then, based on the extreme amounts of destruction that could only be described as unprecedented, the National Weather Service has given the Memphis tornado a preliminary rating of EF5. This tornado was the first EF5 to strike the state since the Lawrence County tornado of 1998. The following reports of weather temperature and wind were taken at 1 p.m. This is your weather radio station WXJ55 in Little Rock, operating on a frequency of 162.550 MHz. Programming originates from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Little Rock, Arkansas. This is a storm survey report regarding information gathered from severe weather that affected the area on January 17, 2024. A line of thunderstorms was first noted to have developed over areas of central Oklahoma in central and north central Texas, at around 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, prompting severe thunderstorm watches to be issued for the area. However, as these storms track northeastward, they begin to move into an environment considered to be exceptionally favorable for the development of strong, long-track tornadoes. These conditions prompted a tornado watch to be issued for portions of southwest Oklahoma and north central and northeast Texas. Eventually, the first tornado warnings would be issued at around 4.29 p.m. Central Standard Time for areas in northeast Texas. However, this would only mark the beginning of a day that would be etched into the history books. A little while after, another tornado watch would be issued for most of Arkansas and areas of southwest Tennessee, northeast and central Mississippi, and northern Louisiana. The first notable long-track tornado would occur in the vicinity of Texarkana. As this line of storms progressed, tornado warnings, and, eventually, tornado emergencies would be issued for portions of our county warning area, particularly around Pine Bluff and Little Rock. The National Weather Service has conducted storm damage assessments along the swath from Hot Springs to Little Rock to Pine Bluff to the eastern end of our county warning area within the past two days, and has gathered the following information. 
the tornado that impacted Pine Bluff first formed into a rope-shaped tornado south of Redland from the same supercell that produced the Texarkana tornado, moving quickly northeast before impacting the city of Carthage at wind speeds of 175 miles per hour. Intensification was not over yet, however, as peak wind speeds would occur as it directly struck southwestern Pine Bluff and the downtown district with wind speeds of 195 miles per hour. The tornado that would directly impact the city of Little Rock would begin life east of Bonnerdale, with tree damage noted as the tornado tracked northeast. Intensification would ensue before the tornado struck a city of hot springs, leveling, if not completely destroying, buildings in the area. The next city in the path of this tornado, Lansdale, was observed to be completely unrecognizable to survivors. The next area of damage would be where the tornado reached peak wind speeds. The wind speeds indicated were at around 310 miles per hour, 8 miles per hour short of the Bridge Creek Moore tornado of 1999. In Pine Bluff and Little Rock, the following information was gathered. In Little Rock, foundations were noted to have been completely destroyed. Concrete block and high-rise apartments were reported to have swayed dangerously to the point of total collapse. Large debris essentially cut off any contact with the majority of the ground zero of impact in both locations, hindering any assistance that would be provided by emergency services. Ground scouring was reported northwest of Little Rock and southwest of Pine Bluff. Most disturbingly, the entirety of downtown Little Rock looked as if civilization never existed. In Pine Bluff, the southwestern portion of Pine Bluff had suffered the worst devastation, with considerable damage to homes and businesses reported in the downtown district. In fact, some homes were completely destroyed as a result of the sheer power of this tornado in the worst hit areas. The only time an F5, or EF5, tornado has struck a state was a Sneed tornado of 1929. That is, until now. The tornado that struck Pine Bluff has been given a rating of a high in the F4, based on the severe damage in the area. The Little Rock tornado has been given a rating of a high in the F5, based on the extreme devastation in the area. This is the first EF5 rating anywhere since May 20, 2013. You're listening to Little Rock Weather Radio, and here are 1 p.m. weather observations. At Little Rock. This is your NOAA weather radio station KIH 38 in Jackson. These broadcasts originate from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Jackson. Transmitting facilities are located in central Mississippi and serve metropolitan Jackson and surrounding areas. This is a public information statement issued by the National Weather Service in Jackson. The following statement contains information from the storm survey conducted in conjunction with the National Weather Service in Jackson. A line of thunderstorms was first noted to have developed over areas of central Oklahoma and central and north central Texas, at around 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, prompting severe thunderstorm watches to be issued for the area. However, as these storms track northeastward, they begin to move into an environment considered to be exceptionally favorable for the development of strong, long-track tornadoes. These conditions prompted a tornado watch to be issued for portions of southwest Oklahoma and north-central and northeast Texas. Eventually, the first tornado warnings would be issued at around 4.29 p.m. Central Standard Time for areas in northeast Texas. However, this would only mark the beginning of a day that would be etched into the history books. The first notable long-track tornado would occur in the vicinity of Texarkana, Texas. A tornado that would begin life in Louisiana would track in from Concordia Parish. This tornado would cause significant damage in the Jackson metropolitan area, with reports of massive casualties, injuries, and damage. Trained weather spotters have described the area as completely decimated. Many well-constructed buildings in the area were completely swept away from their foundations. Power lines and many trees had been uprooted, broken, and snapped. Fires have also started due to leaking gas from many areas in the downtown core being ignited by sparks caused by damaged transformers and power poles. Automobiles have been crushed beyond their limits. 
some reports have also stated that some of the automobiles destroyed by the tornado were completely twisted open due to the sheer power from the tornado. The most disturbing of damage occurred when surveys found a ground scouring of 25 feet occurred in the heart of Jackson from the tornado, with shelters both above and underground having suffered extreme damage in the process. In the heart of Jackson, buildings, shelters above and underground, automobiles and power poles had also completely vanished, as if they had never existed to begin with. To conclude, this tornado lifted near the Lee Catala County line, but not before scouring further ground near the Hines Rankin and Hines Madison County lines. Before the discussion of the survey is concluded, a final rating of the tornado has been given. The tornado which caused mass devastation in Jackson, including downtown, has been given a rating of EF5, due to extreme amounts of damage and ground scourings that occurred in downtown Jackson, including multiple buildings, power poles, vehicles, and roadways vanishing without a trace. This is the first EF5 tornado to strike anywhere in Mississippi since 2011. Stay tuned to know weather radio or the latest source for the latest information. The forecast for the Jackson area and much of central Mississippi. This is your weather radio station WXJ97 in Shreveport, operating on a frequency of 162.400 MHz. Programming originates from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Shreveport, Louisiana. This is a storm survey report regarding information gathered from severe weather that affected the area on January 17, 2024. A line of thunderstorms was first noted to have developed over areas of central Oklahoma in central and north central Texas, at around 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, prompting severe thunderstorm watches to be issued for the area. However, as these storms track northeastward, they begin to move into an environment considered exceptionally favorable for the development of strong, long-track tornadoes. These conditions prompted a tornado watch to be issued for portions of southeast Oklahoma in north central and northeast Texas. Eventually, the first tornado warnings would be issued at around 4.29 p.m. Central Standard Time for areas in northeast Texas. However, this would only mark the beginning of a day that would be etched into the history books. A little while after, another tornado watch would be issued for most of Arkansas and areas of southwest Tennessee, northeast and central Mississippi, and northern Louisiana. The first notable long-track tornado would occur in the vicinity of Texarkana. As this line of storms progressed, tornado warnings, and, eventually, tornado emergencies would be issued for portions of our county warning area, particularly around Texarkana and Shreveport. The National Weather Service has conducted storm damage assessments along a swath from Carthage to Gilmer to Texarkana to El Dorado within the past two days, and has gathered the following information. The tornado that would impact Texarkana would begin life as a small, rope-shaped tornado, south-southwest of Kesson, before rapidly intensifying into a large tornado, before doing severe damage to the city of Cornet. Intensification did not end there, as another period of rapid intensification was indicated, with a large debris signature indicated in Texarkana, and several spotter reports of a tornado, estimated by trained weather spotters to be 1.2 miles wide in diameter. In Shreveport the following information was gathered. Buildings were reported to be severely damaged or even swept away. Ground scourings were observed northeast of town as the tornado caused extensive damage to the area. The tornado was determined to have lasted on the ground from as far southwest as Carthage, rapidly intensifying to its peak strength just southwest of Shreveport, proceeding to dissect the city from southwest to northeast. The tornado would dissipate after impacting the city of El Dorado. Before the survey is concluded, both tornadoes had been given a preliminary rating. The tornado which struck Texarkana would be given a rating of a high in the F4, due to the severe damage in the area. The tornado which struck Shreveport would also be given a rating of a high in the F4, due to the severe damage in the area. You are listening to Shreveport Weather Radio, and here are 1 p.m. weather observations. At Shreveport.
tornado emergency for southern Oklahoma City and more.